Well, hello there again. It is Matthew McDonald here, and I've got a quick video here for Evergreen Webinar plugging customers. I wanted to cover just how to actually update the package with all the new changes and improvements. I wanted to just show you how to update the package. There's a couple of ways of doing it. You can do it directly from your WordPress admin if you've already got the plugin installed. If not, you can just download it from your members area. I'll also cover some new tools that are in it to do with the database. If you ever want to completely remove the plugin from a site, I've added some extra tools that will clear out the database as well. Otherwise, if you've got evergreen websites that you've set up, evergreen uh, webinars that you've got set up, and you delete the plugin or you want to remove it and add it again, you actually don't lose any data. It'll keep the data on your site and that's a good thing. But if you want to, if you want to remove the data, maybe you're getting rid of a site or you just clearing it out I've got some new tools to enable you to do that and I'm going to show you that in this video so let's jump in here so first of all to update your package if you've already got the plugin installed it's going to be the easiest option all you need to do is go to the plugins page and you'll possibly have a notice like this that says a new update is available and you just click update here. If you don't see this and you know there's a new one available or you want to check, you've got a link there that says check for updates. So you can give that a click and it'll go and refresh and check for new updates. And here we see it's available. So we can go ahead and update now. And it'll do it automatically so you don't have to download and upload anything. It's two servers basically communicating to each other and uh, reinstalling the package now obviously you can log into the members area and you can go ahead and download the latest version from here as well and you can just install that on your site if you want to do it that way or if you don't have it already installed and if we go to the evergreen webinar plugin and we go to the settings page we just click the cog icon there down the bottom here we've got show advanced operation so I'm giving that a click and down here we've got options to reset database remove database and reset everything now reset database will actually delete the database not your whole WordPress database just the database that the evergreen webinar plugin uses and it'll re reinstall it so you'll have a fresh start Remove database, you'd be using that if you want to permanently remove this package from your site. You can click remove database first and then un uninstall the package or delete the package. And then you've got reset everything. Now the reset everything is the same as the reset database but it will also reset your settings. So up here you've got your settings and make sure you're doing this. Set up your master URL prefix before you go ahead and create your webinars or integrate any autoresponders. This is something that you need to set up once. You set this up once and it prefixes. You know, you've got your URL, so you've got your uh, permalinks. It'll prefix every, every evergreen webinar with that particular URL, which makes it really nice and separates those links from other uh, pages on your site so you just choose a <laughs> webinar as may not be the best one but you just choose um, a, a URL prefix which is new you can choose it yourself now and then you go ahead and set up your webinars and if you're integrating autoresponders you want to make sure that you've done this first you leave that as it is and then you're not going to mess around with returning back to the wrong page because this will affect all your evergreen webinars. So that's it for this video. It is Matthew McDonald here. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're having a really good day today and I'll see you in another video very soon.